peace peace family so I'm back with another one today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how certain beings around you will be more combative and they are less willing to learn meaning they are not earning they are less willing, less willing to learn so what kind of dove me into this subject today is life you know just reprocessing some of my own engagements and interactions with beings and people and different things of that nature. And I realized being on this realm in 37 years, you know, and then living it from multiple visions. Once you surpass a certain level and you make it to a certain frequency, You have no choice and you will not be able to unsee things. You will not be able to undo certain things. So the knowledge and understanding that you have at the space you are in is going to put you in a space of understanding that it's only two playbooks. So at one transition in your life, you was you, but you didn't have the validation, the confirmation, you didn't have enough experiences. You just didn't have enough of the recipe to put together to understand that these beings aren't really trying to grow or learn. It took me 37, which is what I like to sit on and say, but really I understood. It's just the way we are set up, all of us, if you built like me or similar. We are helpers, we are fighters, we are warriors. It's just what we naturally do. So it's like you'll find yourself doing things for others that you probably wouldn't have jumped as fast for yourself, you know. So... The hard part of this subject is, right, because it kind of got me just trying to be extra mindful of my words. A lot of these times and a lot of these beings, we want to see be better and to do better and to get to a better space, right? And I could say that with as much light and love and joy in my heart, even towards all the evil little demon witch bitches that has potentially done things to try to hurt me, destroy me, you know, hinder me, that's done any of these things, we still feel deep in our hearts that there's a possibility for growth, you know? So if anyone understands that people are awarded chances and opportunities, we understand that on all levels. You know, we are not the group of entities and beings that don't comprehend that. What happens is a lot of people try to control our thought process and our physical being, you know, with their weird manipulation tactics. So in the process, you got to be called a dick. You know, you got to be called mean. You got to be... You know, people are going to tell you that you're not a nice being, but none of those words really have a whole lot of weight to it anymore. And I have some recent situations where I'm not in the same space I was in, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Like, I've always been a pretty solid being, but I didn't have the knowledge and information to stand as firmly as I am now, you know? It's like I went by my old tree and I dug, I took my precious time, dug it up, rooted it up, and I moved it to another location so it got more space. But what I realized is even in the middle of debates, arguments, confrontations, you know, you can put out solutions, you can put out ideas, you can put out helpful things that's gonna push people to a better light, you know, push people to kind of want to see the change, to make the change, you know, to respond differently, 
to react differently. And you have to understand that a lot of these beings are just manipulating the communication in the words, you know. So if you are someone who hasn't always been walking in your purpose, but you've always been a light being, you know, then now you're in a space to where you are walking in purpose, the beings around you are still going to have a hard time really in taking anything that you're saying. I don't give a damn if you try and teach them how to paint and you've been painting your whole life, you know what I'm saying? They still going to feel like they know better techniques on how to paint or somebody else taught them this other thing that's better, you know, or that can be more conducive to what they're actually doing. At this point in my life, you know, I realized like a lot of people are choosing to be combative. Like I went and talked to somebody recently and they are in the same space spiritually they was in six, seven years ago. And it's like, you're trying to use the same tactics on me to control the communication, but it doesn't work that way anymore. You know what I mean? Like I'm way more knowledgeable and I know that you don't value yourself and I know that you don't value the words that you choose to use. And when you understand people, don't, when you understand people don't value their words, then you don't take what they're saying as face value all the time, whether they're happy or whether they're sad or mad or angry. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these beings, you know, they is whatever fits at that moment in time. You know, they, they're constantly trying to suit their physical needs. You know what I mean? So to me, if you coming in my life or I'm in your life, you know, and we having disputes or arguments or something like, I'm pretty good at, I always been a solutionist. So now with me having this knowledge and information, now I usually have more solutions to try in the process. I'm not saying I got all the money. I said I have more solutions, more solutions. This whole world revolves and it's not all for money and money doesn't make the world go round. I hate when people say that. If you are a robotic being, then or a demonic being, then yes, money make the world go round. But money don't make my world go round. We need money as a tool out here. The same way that, uh, what is something else that we don't, you can say it's like, I don't know, you can say it's like oil. You know, I don't want to put it to water because water is way more valuable and relevant, prevalent. I don't care which word you want to use than money, so I, I wouldn't correlate that with money even though you can do it on a percentage scale because everything is on a percentage scale but check this out a lot of people are still going to be combative with you you know they feel like oh i haven't seen this person in five six years and then they're talking to you as if they've grown when really you can see them and understand that they haven't grown the communication has only shifted this much the frequency has only went this much you know you can see a lot of things that still even their fruits you know i'm big on fruits damn it i am big on fruits i am big on fruits man check people and they fruits if you hang around me all day you know and you're not helping me build no ideas then you should be if we're building together or if you're trying to build with me or around me you should be trying to jump into my world if not you should be trying to figure out what's up with my personal world to kind of be accessible or valuable in those areas. The same thing I would do to somebody. I wouldn't just pull up to somebody and decide to waste their time and energy, you know, and then to argue a point with somebody just to be combative and they're giving me different ideas and solutions to try and I'm just refusing to listen and to try them. So for me, I have to understand there's another playbook in charge and the other playbook, and the other playbook is geared towards destruction negativity demonic witchy behaviors and principles morals and values over there you know it, it is all the opposite of you know the creator over here so i don't know when you move it more righteously the way that power and that momentum hit you it feels different the way your protection hits you 
it feel different, you know? Like, when you ain't moving with the most high, you spend a lot of time processing fear. I didn't like doing that. So even if I got to process a little bit, because it's a little bit of fear that comes with everything. It's a little bit of fear that's coming with shit. Ah, I just brush it off. That's like a bird flying. Every day a bird fly, its system can just give up and they can just crash down. But they didn't, I'm pretty sure that's not the bird's process. You know, I'm almost pretty sure they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to fly because, uh, you know, I could fall or my wing could give out on me. No. It's a lot that we can learn from life just by looking and observing. You know what I mean? So that's why I like to spend most of, not most of my time, but I do spend a lot of time out. I was already out getting to these locations before I started filming. And when I started filming, that was kind of secondary because the creator was telling me like, look, you done already found the peaceful state. You know what I mean? So now it's like, all right, how can you knock two birds down with one stone? All right, well, you already got a podcast you're filming inside, but you already been trying to figure out how to build momentum for yourself and encouragement and validation for yourself so that way you can do it solo. You know, that's that was its own process. That took a couple months in itself, you know, just even building that up to even get in front of the camera solo. You know, my process started off with the podcast. I was reaching out to people. I was pulling people together in real lifetime. You know what I mean? And I just kind of hindered a little bit because... Even the people that was coming on the podcast wasn't even promoting it or pushing it out there. You know what I mean? It's like you was a part of something and you still don't even want to give it no energy or momentum. You just... The whole process is weird, you know, but people aren't willing to learn. And you're not going to be able to force it down their throat, you know. But what you can do is force yourself to learn different and better methods on how to teach and how to share and give information. That's what I do. I know I got a lot of demons around me on the outside. You know what I mean? They don't they aren't really as effective on the inside cuz I've already had all my battles with them for the most part. So the only one that they really have an opportunity yet is I would say porn. And even with porn, they don't even have that because I done worked on that the past couple years. So they it's hard for the opposition to wiggle in this vessel. That's why they work so hard outside of my vessel. It, it, all the other principles, mores, and values have already been tested from my teenage years and younger years all the way up. All the way up. The most high, you already know where I'm standing. I don't got to prove that shit to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Y'all either going to ride with me or y'all not. Y'all know that I'm going to ride with you. If you don't, then the ones that I do fuck with, they going to see when it's time for me to ride. You know what I mean? That's just how it works. But... Giving out ideas and solutions is nice and it's helpful, you know what I mean? And it makes, uh, it's good and safe for help and it, it does a lot for you and it does a lot for the universe. But just be mindful that you aren't going to be able to force others. What happens is when you find yourself getting riled up and your energy start rising, for me, my solar plex start working. I don't get a whole lot of headaches and all of this shit up here. It's this down here. Because I'm not confused or chaotic up here, but what happens in here is it involves my heart. And I care a lot, so for me, I be having to shut shit down or minimize things a lot. So that pressure from my heart chakra usually pushes to my solar plex, which is going to be my stomach chakra. You know, so I've always had that thing where... I've always had to figure out how to spin that butterfly effect that's in your stomach when it's really just, you know, your solar plex is just a little bit out of a line. You know, you got to start pulling a couple things out to kind of get it flowing back on an even level field again. So just being mindful, it's a lot of combative people out here and they're going to choose to be in that space, you know, and you're not going to be able to force them to learn, you know, but you can force yourself to learn and continuously earn new insight new information new tactics new methods you know what i'm saying new angles and new ways to view how to help or feed or send that information because clearly you really want to help and send and feed this information so why are you in this space because if you didn't you would just get the fuck away from all the demons you wouldn't even be sharing your words or energy with them period you know what i mean 
But I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I'm saying? Combative beings are going to be combative. They are using the wrong playbook. You have to give them insight, information from you, from your source, you as a being, and then direct them to YouTube. That's what I do. I like directing people to YouTube. I don't direct them to Google. I direct them to YouTube. Google is like me, and then everybody has to go through me, and then I put the information out. YouTube is like... Uh, this, it's, it's a third party So it would be like this camera And then everybody can come use this camera You know what I'm saying So from all levels of frequency So that's why I always emphasize and point to YouTube You know what I mean But tapping everything down below Peace and love to the kings and queens mm -hmm.